When a zoo cat loses her kittens, she is heartbroken. But when she meets two orphan tiger cubs, she finds her purpose again in adopting and rearing them. When they are separated, both parties go on with their lives. But three years later, they are reunited and the unthinkable happens. Natalia's heart belonged to the zoo, not just the Grand Bucharest Zoo itself with its sprawling grounds and historic buildings, but to the creatures who called it home. And among them was one whose heart had just shattered, breaking Natalia's in turn. Sasha was a tabby cat who'd become sort of a zoo mascot. She strutted along the paved visitor paths as if she owned the place. Children adored her. They were drawn to her gentle nature and the soft, rumbling purr that always seemed to be running beneath the surface. But these days, Sasha was spiraling into a deep depression, having just lost an entire litter of kittens. Natalia paused by the zoo shop to buy some kibbles, thinking a little treat might uplift the cat's somber mood. But then, a strange sound cut through the familiar zoo symphony. It was a kind of whimpering cry loud and insistent. Natalia frowned, not recognizing it. The sound came from the direction of the Siberian tiger enclosure. Her smile dropped away, instantly replaced by a prickle of unease. With a hurried stride, she headed towards the towering fence. The tigers weren't known for plaintive whimpers. Perhaps a cub was ill or there had been a squabble. Whatever the cause, it was her job to find out. Sasha the cat would have to wait. The whimpering cries grew louder as Natalia approached the enclosure. It was a heartbreaking sound, tiny and desperate. She stepped past the imposing gate. The Siberian tigers were a magnificent draw for the zoo, but right now, it wasn't the adults who drew her attention. Natalia spotted them instantly. Two impossibly small bundles of striped fur huddled against the far wall of the enclosure. Tiger cubs. They were so tiny so fragile that they almost blended in with the straw bedding, and their mother growling at them from a distance, signaling she wanted nothing more to do with them. A wave of dread crashed over Natalia. For the past three days, the mother tiger had been exhibiting signs of frustration towards her babies. However, nobody had expected her to simply abandon them within an enclosure filled with grown predators. Newborn tiger cubs without their mother were a recipe for disaster. But to leave them here was a death sentence. Natalia cautiously entered the enclosure, keeping her movements slow and deliberate. The adult tigers were agitated and paced the opposite side of the enclosure. They were confused by the distressed cries of the cubs and ready to pounce on them. One misstep on Natalia's part and they would turn deadly. The cubs barely reacted to her approach. They were skin and bones. Their bellies were sunken and their fur was damp, either from their weak attempts to move or from being abandoned in the humid night air. Survival looked like a long shot. She scooped up the cubs, one in each arm, and the feeling felt surreal. Tigers were icons of wild power, but in her arms, those cubs were as helpless as any stray kitten. She stepped out and rushed back into the keeper's quarters. The other keepers were alerted by the commotion. They stood in shock as Natalia deposited the cubs onto a blanket spread hastily on a work table. The mother doesn't want them anymore, she managed to say. Her whole demeanor was a mix of urgency and despair. We need bottles, goat's milk if we have any, blankets, anything warm. A flurry of activity followed. Calls were made, supplies were gathered. The next few hours and days were going to be a desperate fight to keep these tiny specks of striped fur alive. As Natalia warmed a makeshift bottle, one detail gnawed at the back of her mind. It niggled at her. A faint memory struggled to surface. Suddenly, it hit her. Sasha, the zoo cat. Sasha wasn't one to miss a commotion. The panicked voices and the unusual urgency radiating from the keeper's area usually meant interesting tidbits might be on offer. But this wasn't about food. As she padded closer, she wove between the legs of the anxious zookeepers. A familiar sound made her ears twitch. The same desperate, mewling cry that had haunted her dreams since her kittens had died. She squeezed through the crowd of keepers gathered around a table. She hopped onto the work surface and she nearly stumbled back in shock. Tiger cubs. Two of them. Sasha stared, 
uncomprehending at first. These weren't her kittens, but the mothering instinct that raged within her didn't recognize the difference. Her instincts took over. With a gentle nudge of her head, Sasha rolled one of the cubs closer. She began to meticulously lick its patchy fur. The cub was chilled and stiff and barely reacted at first. Sasha licked harder and a low rumble started deep in her throat. The keepers exchanged stunned glances. Could this possibly work? Warmed by the cat's persistent attention, the cubs started to twitch. Sasha purred louder. Then, she shifted to clean the second cub. There was a determination in her movements that Natalia had never seen before. This wasn't playfulness or casual affection. This was an all-consuming need to nurture. As Sasha settled down beside the cubs, she tucked them under her chin and draped her body over theirs. A strange hush fell over the keeper's area. Natalia didn't dare move a muscle. It went against every protocol, everything she knew about animal care. But to interrupt this tableau, this raw act of unexpected mothering, felt like sacrilege. The debate began the moment Sasha settled into her role as surrogate tiger mom. It was unheard of, unprecedented. It flew in the face of all conventional animal husbandry. The head keeper, Peter, insisted they separate the cat and the tigers. Natalia countered with an edge to her voice. The past few hours had been a whirlwind, and she felt fiercely protective of this odd, makeshift little family. We've never seen anything like this. Shouldn't we at least give them a chance? Reason warred with instinct over the following hours. Everyone agreed that the situation was extraordinary, but opinions were split on the risks involved. Could a domestic cat actually raise healthy tiger cubs? And what about the dangers to Sasha herself? In the end, a cautious compromise was reached. The cubs wouldn't be removed, at least not immediately. A larger enclosure was hastily made ready. Sasha and her adopted charges would be moved there within the day. That would allow them more space and minimize the risk of adult tigers becoming overly agitated. The zoo's veterinarian, Dr. Pavel, was tasked with monitoring Sasha's health meticulously. Supplementary feeding would be essential. A cat couldn't produce enough milk for growing tiger cubs, so she would receive enhanced nutrition, vitamins, and constant observation, anything to keep her strength up as she undertook this impossible task. As the sun began to set, Sasha and the cubs were relocated to the larger enclosure. Sasha reacted with surprising calmness. She gently picked up each cub by the scruff and carried them to a bedding pile in the corner. The cubs, seemingly oblivious to the drama surrounding them, curled up against their feline mother and promptly fell asleep. Days stretched into weeks. A strange routine settled over the zoo. Visitors were barred from the enclosure. A do not disturb sign hung prominently on the gate. Keepers tiptoed in with food for Sasha, refilled her water bowls and carefully removed waste while she glared suspiciously at them from her corner. Through it all, she was a force of nature. She guarded the cubs relentlessly from any perceived threat. Ilya and Misha grew stronger with each passing day. Their eyes opened, their mules turned into squeaks, and soon they were wobbling about on unsteady paws. Remarkably, Sasha seemed to adjust to their growing size and energy with instinctive ease. She would roughhouse playfully with them. She taught them to stalk and pounce with gentle nips and playful swats. Yet, when they needed comfort, she'd curl around them. A soft purr rumbled deep in her chest as they suckled for what little milk she could still provide. Zoo staff were slowly won over. The vet's reports were consistently positive. Sasha was healthy, if a bit thinner, and the cubs were thriving. They were gaining weight, their fur was glossy, their energy boundless. The impossible was happening. They were witnessing the extraordinary power of a mother's love, even across the boundaries of species. News of the unlikely tiger adoption spread like wildfire, first locally, then nationally. Soon, international media outlets were clamoring for access to the Bucharest Zoo. Cat raises tiger cubs, the headline screamed. Journalists camped outside the zoo gates. Paparazzi buzzed overhead in helicopters. The zoo transformed into a whirlwind of chaos. Natalia found herself juggling interview requests, fending off intrusive photographers and 
fielding endless questions from well-meaning but insistent animal experts. Everyone seemed to have an opinion on what was best for Ilya and Misha. Offers flooded in to take the cubs. Most well-doers wanted to relocate them to specialized sanctuaries or exotic animal parks. These offers were often accompanied by thinly veiled criticism of the zoo's decision to let this unnatural situation continue. Natalia read each email and each offer with a growing sense of frustration and anger. Yes, the situation was unusual. Wasn't what was happening at the zoo proof enough? Ilya and Misha weren't just surviving, they were flourishing. The cubs were round-bellied, bright-eyed, and boisterous. Time and time again, Natalia stood her ground. She politely declined offers, and she firmly refuted criticism, bolstered by Dr. Pavel's detailed reports on the cubs' health. Above it all, she fiercely defended her decision to trust in the unconventional family that had formed within the zoo's walls. Ilya and Misha grew at an astonishing rate. Soon, they weren't just cubs. They were gangly adolescents that towered over their feline mother with playful menace. Sasha's once sleek tabby coat grew ruffled from their boisterous play. She was forever batting them away with exasperated swats. Then, moments later, she'd be tackled in a mock ambush. But there was a clear undercurrent of respect beneath their roughhousing. Even as they outstripped Sasha in size tenfold, the tigers never truly forgot who had kept them alive in those crucial, vulnerable weeks. They groomed her in clumsy but affectionate gestures, not knowing their tongues were designed for rasping meat from bone. They'd curl up beside her at night, the deep thrum of their purrs a counterpart to her softer rumble. Passersby would stare in wonder at the sight. A sleek tabby cat nestled amidst massive striped shapes, like a queen surrounded by her unlikely offspring. Six months passed in what felt like a blink of an eye. Sasha was now dwarfed by the young tigers. Their playfulness had been replaced with a simmering intensity. Their playful nips and the testing swipes of their claws could effortlessly tear flesh. Natalia knew deep down that the inevitable day was coming. It was unavoidable. The laws of nature wouldn't simply bend because their story was extraordinary. Sasha couldn't protect herself forever. And Ilya and Misha needed space to truly become the tigers they were meant to be. After consulting with Dr. Pavel and the head keeper, the agonizing decision was made. A spacious, specialized enclosure with reinforced fencing and multiple sections for safe feeding and observation had been prepared. It was ready to become the tiger's new home. The day of separation was filled with a quiet sort of dread. Sasha seemed to sense something was amiss. She paced restlessly and emitted low, anxious growls. The normally boisterous tigers were subdued. They whimpered occasionally and pressed themselves against her side. The process was swift, almost clinical. Keepers, armed with tranquilizer darts, cautiously entered the enclosure. One dart in Ilya, followed by Misha. The big cat slumped into unconsciousness. They were carefully transported to their new home, leaving behind a bewildered and heartbroken Sasha. Natalia knelt beside the tabby cat. She tried to offer soft words of comfort and gentle strokes, but Sasha hissed pitifully. Her eyes were wide with distress. It tore at Natalia's heart, but she knew this ache was a necessary pain for everyone involved. The following weeks were difficult. Ilya and Misha paced their new expansive enclosure. They were restless and confused. Sasha became a shadow of her usual self. Her normally vibrant purr disappeared. She would sit for hours staring at the empty enclosure her tail twitching with silent anguish. But then, time dulled the sharp edges of grief. Ilya and Misha adjusted to their new enclosure and, in time, were even introduced to the other big cats in the zoo. They seemed happy enough in their new environment, but sometimes, Natalia caught them staring in the distance with longing in their eyes, as if they were waiting for someone. And she knew exactly who this someone was. Sasha, too, had gone on with her life, but she seemed even more nostalgic than the tigers. Nature's laws call for eventual separation between a mother and her cubs, but since Sasha could still smell Ilya and Misha still inside the zoo, she felt like it was her duty to care for them, and the humans were preventing her from doing it. 
Natalia felt her heart break for both parties. However, nobody seemed interested in hearing her opinion anymore. The tigers were doing fine enough, and as far as the cat, her superiors weren't all that interested in making sure Sasha was happy. After all, she was just a cat to them. For three years, she battled against their prejudice, and for three years, she lost. But then, something changed. A new manager was appointed at the zoo, and she was more inclined to listen. She was a mother herself, and she knew what it meant to be separated from her kids. She wouldn't wish it on anybody, not even on a simple cat. So, the next time Natalia proposed a reunion just to see what would happen, management said yes. The day dawned tense and bright. Safety protocols were drilled into the team of keepers. Tranquilizers were at the ready, and escape routes had been planned in meticulous detail. Natalia entered the tiger enclosure first. Sasha hesitantly followed at her heels. Then, the moment of truth. The massive gate separating the enclosure from a wide visitor observation area slid open. Ilya was first, then Misha. They blinked as they stumbled into the sunlight. The giant cats froze. Their ears pricked and their nostrils flared. Had they forgotten the scent of the tabby cat who'd raised them? Time had stretched and nature had pulled them in opposite directions. Natalia held her breath. Her heart was a frantic drumbeat in her chest. Would this be a joyful reunion or a devastating confirmation that their bond was irrevocably broken? Ilya crossed the space between them. Sasha tensed, but there was recognition flickering in her green eyes. Ilya lowered his massive head and gently nuzzled her side. Misha followed. An astonished gasp escaped Natalia's lips as the tigers began to purr. It was a deep, resonating rumble that shook the very ground beneath her feet. Sasha began to rub against their flanks. Her own purr rose in a rapid crescendo. There were no swats and no playful growls, only an outpouring of unmistakable affection. Tears welled up in Natalia's eyes. She was witnessing the impossible unfolding right before her. This wasn't just a reunion. It was proof that the love Sasha, an ordinary cat, had poured into these cubs, had left an enduring mark on their very souls. It was a love that transcended the boundaries of species, a profound and undeniable truth. Do you have a story of a mother of one species adopting little ones from another species? Please tell us in the comments. We'd love to hear your story. For now though, we're done. Catch you in the next video.